first thing we're going to be doing is changing the structure of our eyebrows so i'm giving myself a straighter eyebrow just to give myself the illusion of a more chiseled or snatched face focus i'm actually going to be gluing my eyebrows just At this point, to be honest, I had a feeling that I had messed up the whole brows, but we don't give up over here, so we were trying so hard to make it work. I was almost laughing at myself when I was editing this part, but I was like, you know what? Let's put it in here and keep it as a teachable moment. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to, but uh, I can't help it. I even went to conceal the eyebrows in the hopes that it would look a little bit better but at some point I'm like who am I kidding so I washed off my face and came back and I was ready to do it again exactly so I'm gluing my eyebrows in again but this time around I'm doing it in very mindful motions so I'm focusing on my goal which is to lift the eyebrows so that I can start having that snatched face look. I'm also brushing it upwards just to reveal the shape that I'm working with. And you can see now that I have an arch. I have an eyebrow that looks presentable. This eyebrow however needed a little bit more of um, love I want to say so I gave it that. Went back in with another coat of glue, but this time I did it very, very lightly. And I'm still brushing up to get rid of some of the excess glue. And now I'm going into filling my eyebrows, but I'm trying to give it that straight look. So I didn't want too much of an arch. I just wanted fluffy brows, that effect of fluffy brows. So I'm giving like straight brows natural looking brows you know the vibes I'm also brushing it out just so that I can have that brushed blended look if you want a detail do to do <laughs> if you want a detailed tutorial let me know because I can definitely slow it down and give you step by steps on how you can achieve these eyebrows if you want to no pressure but let me know because i can make it i can make it happen okay so i've just concealed it lightly under my eyes and i'm focusing on blending which is exactly what this look is going to be very soft beats because we're literally snatching this face the goal is to get me looking like that so i'm gonna start contouring from here The point of doing this like this is so that my face is already getting structured before I even put on my foundation. I wanted to emphasize all the bones on my face, all the natural contours and all that good stuff. So I was literally ready to snatch this face. So I'm placing my contour on all the places that I wanted to. And I'm going in with a brush just to buff the product in. I'm not blending it out too much. But I just want a softer line around my jawline and my nose. And everywhere I had placed the contour. I also put some on my eyelid or on my eye socket. So that I could start to contour that part of my face as well. And to be honest with you, if it was one of those days that I was doing the no foundation makeup look i would have finished my makeup at this point with just eyeliner and mascara and that's it check this video out if you haven't seen it already it's something similar to this look but it's slower and there's no foundation so you can skip all the steps in this video and just do like one step so now i'm extending my eye shape and i'm highlighting the inner corner of my eyes just to open my eyes up one and to give it that flirty, shimmery look.
was getting my eyeliner to be as thin as possible. Especially on the inner corners of my eye. And I'm only going to put them on the corners of my eyes. How are we looking? I just extended my eyeliner a little bit. Some people will say this is a fox eye, but... Now I'm actually putting on my foundation. And I'm put, mixing it with my liquid highlighter. And I'm placing the highlighter everywhere I would normally highlight. damn beauty blender this blender is so fragile she shall you look so cute what the fuck this liquid highlighter has that purple tinge so it reflects purple under setting lights it's just nice it's really like if you're on a date and you just want to like i'm talking to you babe and then you just give me that side look. Oh, sweet stuff. So here what I'm doing is highlighting. But I'm going in with two different shades of highlighter. Because I want to basically go all out. I'm using one shade of concealer that is lighter than me. And two shades lighter than me. And I'm mixing them together. Just to get one. The perfect shade I wanted under my eyes. If you only have one shade of concealer. That's perfect. Just put it under your eyes. Me, I just wanted to mix it just so that I could... Mm, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I wanted that extra bright on the eye. I'm also taking what's left of the concealer and cutting my jawline. Not literally, but like, yeah, emphasizing it. That's definitely more highlighted because why not? And then I went in with a liquid contour shade, placing it on my cheekbones. Like, I was ready to give them cheekbone off. Now I'm blending it in. Are you team beauty blender or team makeup brushes? I feel like I'm team beauty blender or like a beauty sponge. Because there's a level of airbrush that it gives your skin that a brush could never... You can mix it though. I want to start mixing like brush and then my beauty blender. I'll probably start like that technique and then I'll just see if it makes any difference. Yeah, I'm dusting off the excess powder using a powder that's close to my skin tone. And I'm going back in with a powder contour to bring definition back to my nose. I'm also blending, taking my time to blend just to soften all the edges so there are no harsh lines. My setting spray is finished, so because it's finished, I'm going to wet my sponge and just dab that all over my face. And voila, you have like your own DIY setting spray. Just like that. I haven't really colored lip in a while. I'm just going to stain my lips. We are done. What do you think? I feel like this look is so pretty. It's so chic. It's super stylish. Let me know what you think. 